Now, when I first saw this specimen, I thought we were looking at hydroxia puffalite from the Kalahari manganese fields in South Africa. But these are actually calcite crystals sitting on a very thin matrix, uh, elongated matrix. So from a display point of view, almost like a ship. I'll hold it a bit away from the camera, cross like that, and we'll have a closer look at the detail in the crystals in a minute. Now, when we look into these crystals on a cross-section, they do have inclusions of sort. I think we may have some motramite included in some of these crystals, most likely. The matrix is uh, uh, quite a heavily stained iron oxides, uh, appears calcite as well. Relative weight is quite heavy, so we may have a little bit of galena in this as well. But generally, quite an appealing specimen, a, a very shiny, uh, a, almost a white to a cream in color. And of course, the occasional crystal has some inclusions. As is quite typical to the Tumeb mine, we often have almost patterning in the, in the calcite crystals. Size-wise, a little bit longer than a palm size, maybe a hand length, not a hand size. All the way from the famous old Tumeb mine, Namibia. Of course, no longer being mined for many moons now. It's now 2023. I think mining ceased late last century. It must have been around about the late 90s that mining ceased at this, ceased at this deposit. It was a famous uh, a copper lead mine. It was a two-map mine. That's a pretty good indication of the actual specimen. Let's see if we can go a little bit closer.